All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at AVAX here. So the bottom may be in for AVAX. You can see the support at this level here. Uh, we already are getting a bounce. So just wanted to point that out really quick there. So let's take this off of the chart. This is the weekly candles here. Um, but a couple things I wanted to point out. If we go down to the 15 minute time frame, you can see we've already had a little double bottom here at that low. If we go to the four hour, the six hour, you can see we are making higher highs and higher lows. And after this strong move up, you can see we are forming some type of a falling wedge pattern here on these smaller time frames here. So the bottom may be in here for uh, AVAX. If we switch to the three day chart, you can see where I have this fib drawn here from the high to the low, right to the 0.5. We're already coming back down here, so AVAX may come down here, and you, if you end up holding this 1336, 1330 level here, you may get a nice spike to the upside from that point uh, on AVAX here. So if we come down to this 1330 level, you're looking at about another 2 3% drop. Um, so just keep an eye on that, and if we do get a nice bounce here off of that falling wedge pattern and off of the low, the macro low, and off of that double bottom, you know, that you can see on pretty much every time frame. Um, this thing may be gunning for $16 at about a 20% move. And then potentially up here uh, to test the 200 day moving average at this $20 area uh, for about a 60% move. So that could be uh, in store here. You can see this is where we're getting rejected at lately at this level up here at 20. So. All the signs are pointing to that possibly being the case that we're getting this nice bounce off of the low. We have that falling wedge pattern down here on the smaller time frames, as you can see from that nice run up into this pattern. Uh, so we're just going to watch that price there. So I would watch the 1330 to 1336 here. Uh, you can see where this wick goes down. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, if we hold that 382 here from that high to that low to the 0.5 to the 382 and get a bounce, uh, that would be the ideal uh, move here. So just wanted to make a quick update on AVAX just to point out uh, that there's a potential for the bottom to be put in here. You're at your macro low. You have that bullish uh, um, wedge formed here, and it may be time for a nice bounce on on AVAX. Let's switch over here to the daily chart really quick. And let's see. So we're talking about that 1336 level here. Let me get everything off of the chart. We're going to draw the most recent price action here on the daily time frame. You can see that from the low to the high, we're coming down to that 382 at that same price. So that's the price I would watch uh, for a bounce. If we get a nice bounce here, you're still extremely bullish and we may get that push higher. You can see on the daily time frame, the 200 day moving average is at 16. So if we do get a bounce off of the 382 and we hold that, um, I'm looking for um, $16 to get tagged. So potential 20% move inbound on AVAX here if we hold the 1336 uh, price level here for a nice bounce back to the upside. But of course, if you do get that bounce at this level and we come up here to the uh, support resistance here at 1432 and we get stuck here there is a potential um, that you never make that move and you're trying to do something like this and then just kind of fall off the table like that down to your 0.5 and then a deeper retracement down to your 618 uh, that could be in play so just keep that in mind if you're going to long it you're going to short it remember to always have your stop loss in place uh, so you don't get uh, liquidated but um just keep in mind that on the macro picture, on the smaller time frames, we're at macro res, uh, support, and the smaller time frames, we do have that bullish structure forming here uh, for a push higher. So we'll see if we get that nice bounce, and we will leave it at that on AVAX. Uh, one more thing I wanted to point out on the daily chart here, stock RSI is coming back down here to the bottom. So if we get a nice curl back up, uh, that would indicate that the momentum's going back up. Heikinashi candles, you can see. They are printing red, but they're getting smaller here. So we may roll over to green here and start moving higher. So just keep that in mind. And along with all that, let me get those things off of the chart here. I hate that drawing tool that gets stuck. But along with all that, if we move the candles out of the way really quick here, you can see that we do have the 21 crossing right over the 50 here. So it's trying to be bullish here. 
There's a lot of signs saying that it wants to be bullish off of this low here. So we'll see if it plays out, uh, and we will leave it at that for now. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.